so as you probably read from this title, I am doing yet another tag video. I had so much fun doing Queenie's werewolf tag that I wanted to do a vampire one. And when I searched for one, I didn't really find one for like vampire movie based tag. So I decided I would go ahead and create my own. Uh, some of the questions are a little bit of a copy off Queenie, of course, um, but we're just going to go ahead and jump into it and I will tag people at the end. Uh, and yes, I did just add fake blood to my face from a werewolf video for this. And I was bummed because they used to have fake vampire teeth, like the little ones that you mold and you push them on. Uh, don't have them anymore. Don't know where they are, so kind of bummed about that. But anyway, into the questions. So first is, what is your favorite vampire film and why? I'm gonna have to give it up to Lost Boys. I absolutely love that film. Anybody who knows me, watched any of my other previous videos, I love Lost Boys. I love Corey Haim. Just peace. Uh, so yep, gonna have to give that one to the Lost Boys. Two, what are, are vampires better than werewolves? For me, yes. Number three, who is the most brutal vampire in a film? Uh, for this one, I put Claudia from Interview with a Vampire. If you have not seen that film, so good. Really suggest that one. Um, she's basically a child who gets turned into a vampire and for... I believe it's like 30 or so years at the time in the movie. Um, Lestat has been training her to basically be a brutal killer. And she really kills with no remorse, no feeling towards her victims at all. So I have to give it up to her for being hella brutal. Number four, favorite vampire transformation. Um, and by that, I just kind of mean like getting turned into a vampire that makes sense um so for this one i'm gonna have to give this to the lost boys just because it is so simple there's no like attack or anything which i know is like a big part of you know vampire legend um is the you know you have to be bitten to be turned into a vampire uh, but in Lost Boys, he just basically drinks vampire blood from a cup and gets turned into a vampire, and it's so simple, uh, but still somehow a pretty intense scene emotionally, I guess. So I gotta say, that's probably my favorite vampire transformation turning uh, scene. Number five, what's the silliest, worst vampire film you've seen? Uh, the answer for this is actually the same as the werewolf tag, Twilight. Uh, and I mean, you can enjoy the Twilight films. There's absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying them for what they are. Uh, but God, are they bad. <laughs> uh, six, best vampire comedy parody. Uh, this one I kind of added in as my own little question um because i had an idea that i really wanted so uh be best vampire comedy uh slash parody for me i have to give this to uh dracula dead and loving it if you have not seen that film it's a leslie nilsson film and it is hilarious um, I'm sure you can find it somewhere online to watch. I'm not sure I have it on DVD. Um, and it is just, it's, I mean, if you love Leslie Nelson, you'll love this film. It is just so funny. It's so quotable. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've definitely like quoted it all the time in real life. I had people, what are you talking about? So if you've seen that film and you love it, uh, please let me know in the comments below that you've seen that and leave me your favorite quotable line from that film in the comments below. So number seven is what was your first vampire film? Um, first one that I can kind of more remember seeing was 
Underworld. Um, but I know that I did watch the 1931 Dracula film when I was younger um, with my dad, I'm pretty sure. Um, he had that movie, I'm pretty sure he still has that movie. Um, and was quite a big fan of that, so that is the Universal Dracula uh, from 1931. And yeah, so that's, I'm pretty sure, the first vampire film that I saw. And then for the last question, number eight, is what is your fave vampire, real or, real or fictional, or both? Um, so by real I mean like people in history who have been like labeled vampires. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and give y'all my favorite fictional vampire. So my favorite, uh, fictional vampire is gonna probably be Queen Akashia, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, from Queen of the Damned. I I know I didn't say that that was my favorite vampire film. Um, it's definitely up there, probably like my second favorite. Uh, but I absolutely love her. She was played by Aaliyah Beef, um, who was a amazing. If you've not seen Queen of the Damned, such a good movie. I think it might be on Netflix in the U.S. I think it was at some point. I'm not sure. Again, another one that I own on DVD. But I'm sure you can find it online if you love like rock music in your horror or vampire films. It's a great one for you. Um, all the vocals for Lestat, because he is a singer in the movie, um, are done by the lead singer of Korn. And I think all of the music for that film was written by him. Um, Obviously, there's some songs that aren't performed by him in the movie, but for the most part it is. So if you are also a Chord fan, uh, you should have seen this movie by now. But highly, highly suggest it. It is so awesome. So good. Probably going to end up watching that one um, today. But uh, that is all for those questions, and I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you did, Please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more horror related content. The questions will be the tinned, pinned comment below. So let me know if you do this video. Um, and yes, I need to tag some people. So of course I'm going to tag Queenie since it kind of altered her questions from the werewolf tag. Um, and then I'm going to tag my girl. Vicky from Nightmare Maven, uh, Susan from Horror Gal, and then I'm going to tag Lee from Drum Dums. I want to see what your answers are, guys. So let me know as soon as you guys do this so I can check it out. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will see you later with another video.